A general court-martial is the highest trial-level military court under the UCMJ. From the outside, a court-martial appears similar to a civilian trial. There is a judge, a prosecutor, and a defense attorney. The accused has a right to counsel. However, the procedures and many of the rules governing the pre-trial, trial, and a post-trial phases of a court-martial are unique to the military justice system. The trial phase is presided over by the military judge, an active duty JAG lawyer holding the rank of commander or captain in the Navy and Coast Guard, and lieutenant colonel or colonel in the Army, Air Force, and Marines. In military courts, a prosecutor is known as the trial counsel. The trial counsel is an active duty JAG attorney. Most trial counsel hold the rank of lieutenant or lieutenant commander in the Navy or captain or major in the Army, Air Force, and Marines. The military judge almost always outranks both the trial counsel and the active duty military defense counsel. The defense counsel at court martial is either a JAG attorney detailed to the accused or a private lawyer hired by the accused. The accused has the right to counsel of his or her choice. The most important decision an accused soldier, sailor, airman, or marine must make is whether to accept their detailed military criminal defense attorney or to hire a civilian military lawyer. The accused service member has the right to be represented by an active duty JAG attorney. The JAG attorney serves in a capacity similar to a public defender. However, most active duty defense counsel are less experienced. When an accused hires a civilian military lawyer, the JAG attorney will act as an assistant defense counsel. This is an important decision. Do you go with your detailed military counsel or do you hire a private attorney? Under the UCMJ, the jury is known as the panel members. An accused has the right to choose trial by military judge alone or trial before panel members. At a general court martial, the panel consists of a minimum of five officers. If the accused is an enlisted member, then he or she may choose to have a panel consisting of at least one third enlisted members. Instead of being selected at random, as in civilian trial courts, the panel members are chosen by an admiral or general officer. Under the UCMJ, this high-ranking officer serves as the convening authority. The convening authority convenes the court-martial, selects the panel members, and approves or disproves the findings and sentence. The UCMJ created a separate justice system with unique rules governing the investigation, charging, and trial of military crimes. The UCMJ also created a separate criminal appellate system resulting in unique military law. Each military service has its own court of criminal appeals. The Army, for example, has the Army Court of Criminal Appeals, run by Army lawyers. The Navy and Marine Corps have the Navy Marine Corps Court of Criminal Appeals, run by Navy and Marine lawyers. And the Air Force has the Air Force Court of Criminal Appeals, run by Air Force JAG. The highest military appellate court is the Court of Appeals for the Armed Forces. Having a military lawyer with experience in military appellate law can give you an added advantage at trial. Each military crime carries with it a maximum potential sentence. Some sex offenses also carry mandatory minimum sentences. A court-martial sentence may include confinement, a punitive discharge, forfeiture of pay and allowances, a loss of rank, and a fine. At general court-martial, there are three types of military discharges which may be part of a sentence. For enlisted members, the two types of punitive discharge are dishonorable discharge and bad conduct discharge. Officers may receive a dismissal from the service, which is equivalent to a dishonorable discharge. The most effective defense counsel understands both the law and military culture and has significant defense experience. Hiring a civilian attorney with both of these qualities can make all the difference. A civilian attorney who specializes in representing military clients will often have more military legal experience than the detailed military counsel or the trial counsel. Mr. Peter Cagillary Jr. is a retired JAG with decades of experience, the kind of experience you want for your best defense. Go to ucmjlaw.com to see case results now.